The following video is a demonstration of my preferred method for repairing a pasta tear in the shoulder. The technique utilizes two 1.8 millimeter y nut anchors placed percutaneously. We'll establish our first anchor with a spinal needle and replace that with a guide wire to hold that position. We'll then use that same spinal needle to establish our second position and then place our anchors transtendinously. We'll then move to the subacromial space and tie a combination of mulberry knots followed by a Revo SCOE to repair that tendon back down to bone. This will minimize iatrogenic damage to the tendon and provide for an efficient, quick repair. After proper preparation of the footprint and tendon, the location of the first transtendinous anchor is found using a spinal needle. The guide wire and cannulated switching stick are used to aid in the insertion of the T-handle drill guide through the intact tendon and against the bone. After drilling the pilot hole with the 1.8 millimeter drill bit, the y not flex all suture anchors inserted through the drill guide and into the bone using a mallet. The sutures are uncleated and the anchor is set by firmly pulling on all four strands of the suture until the anchor is set. This process is repeated for insertion of the second anchor. Before I start to tie, I'll use the edge ablation system to get better visualization of the subacromial space and suture. To start the double pulley technique, I take one blue-white cobraid suture from the first anchor and one blue-white cobraid suture from the second anchor and pull them through the anterior lateral portal. Once outside the joint, I will tie a mulberry knot and then cut the tails. The mulberry knot is then pulled into the joint by pulling on the two free blue-white cobrate sutures in a seesaw motion. Once the knot is visible inside the subacromial space, the mulberry knot is placed on one side of the anchors. A revoscoe non-sliding knot is then tied arthroscopically with the two free ends and placed near the opposite anchor from the mulberry knot. To complete the second pulley, repeat the same steps but use the other colored suture. The final construct will show the supraspinatus tendon compressed back down to bone.